Hey everybody, welcome to my Trello tutorial about how I use Trello to stay organized with my consulting clients. Once you sign in and set up an account, you're gonna to wanna to start your first board. So let's name this private practice. <clears throat> and it's gonna be no team, create. All right, so now I am in Trello for my private practice. Um, so maybe let's rename this um, private practice organization. <clears throat> So you can change the background over here on the right if you want to have different colors or photos. Uh, so you can do that as well. Um, let's go back in here. Uh, if you want to, you can um, filter your cards. You can invite other people to your board. You can add stickers, all sorts of other things. Right now, um, that's more just customizable things that I don't think that you really need to worry about. So I'm gonna X that out. So this is what's gonna be your basic board. And the lists that I recommend are, and we'll do it as if it's for me, Joe's One Thing. We have Joe's Next Things, KPIs, and I'll talk about what each of these is, Completed, and then Ideas. <clears throat> I recommend you not have too many different uh, cards that are in here and lists uh, because we really wanna keep you focused on exactly what you need to be doing. So if I was just starting a private practice, there might be some ideas. So I would recommend that if you know there are things that you have to do to put them under your next things. If it's things that you wanna explore, you wanna look into, put that under ideas. Your one thing, you really wanna keep just one thing there. Uh, because if you have one thing there, it's gonna keep you more focused than, you have a big, than if you have a big laundry list of everything you need to go through. Next we have KPIs, so this is your key performance indicators, what to you indicates success. So I'm going to actually add a card right there because I'd recommend that you determine what you want to do uh, first. And so these are going to be highly measurable things. So I'm going to put um, get five clients by, and let's just say March 1st. So I've made that. Um, I also might set a bigger goal of 2018, make 20K. So imagine I'm a brand new practice, uh, that might be one that I do. You, you don't really want more than two or three KPIs. These are the things that if you do everything that you're planning to do, what is the final result of success for you? Uh, so you're not gonna put in there, just feel better or launch a private practice. We really wanna know what exactly are you gonna try to do? All right, so we've got a short-term KPI and a long-term KPI here. So now let's work backward from those KPIs. And imagine I don't have any counseling private practice at all, or I just wanna uh, increase things. So I might brainstorm, um, I have to name my practice. After I do that, I'd probably need to file my PLLC. Um, after that, uh, set up bank. <clears throat> account um, um, so maybe look into free checking so I would want to put that before that and then after that uh, then uh, I'd want to probably sign up for QuickBooks uh, here's a link for you guys to get some money off So then I just start to <clears throat> come up with all the different things. So then I might even sketch out, okay, what's the next three months look like of what I need to set up? But then I wanna go through and really say, what are the things that have to happen before everything else? And then what's gonna really get me five clients by March 1st? So naming my practice, then getting my LLC set up, some of these basics is really important. So I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna then click on this card. So imagine that this card now flips over. <clears throat> There's all sorts of information you can put in here. And so if you have resources of naming a practice, so for example, I have a blog post that's practiceofthepractice.com slash naming. So maybe I have in there that I wanna read that. Um, you could also do a checklist where you say, um, Joe's blog post, and then I'm gonna put brainstorm uh, words I like. Then I might say, Ask friends, ask the next level practice community, maybe see if the URL is available. 
So then we're creating this checklist of things to go through to keep you highly organized. Now say I decide I'm gonna do a due date that by Monday, uh, I'm gonna get this done. So then that gives you a due date that boom, all right, I gotta get this done by Monday. Then you can start to add in here other due dates for yourself. And then once you've, uh, over the weekend, maybe I read the blog post and then I brainstorm words I like, ask some friends, and then I purchase the URL. And so it, all five of those are done. I can just move that over here to completed. I'm gonna take what's next here and move it over. So next, now I named my practice mental wellness counseling, mentalwellnesscounseling.com I purchased. Now I go to file my LLC and and then I'm gonna you know, get that going. Now for a lot of you, if you're not at the startup phase, this is gonna look completely different. And so it might be that uh, you're already all set up, you wanna get five new clients by March, so maybe it's, uh, I want to f f do my business avatar slash ideal client. And then maybe I go in there and I might say, I'm going to brainstorm specialties uh, interview people locally about specialties. Uh, I might <clears throat> then talk to other counselors, uh, maybe do some web research, and then um, sketch out the avatar. So then I might then sketch out the whole avatar where I'm going to name uh, her Susan and she's 45 and she has Katie who is 12 and Chad who's six. <clears throat> and then I'd start to sketch out what my ideal client family looks like. What are they dealing with? Maybe they're just going through a divorce. So I'm putting all that information into this ideal client um, sketch here. So then it's gonna keep you so organized that as you learn things through Next Level Practice community, uh, as you watch webinars, as you listen to podcasts, as you get resources, to have this one place that you put everything in. Also, there's an app that goes with Trello, and what's great about it is it's totally free, uh, and the app looks just like this. So if you're standing in line at the grocery store and you have an idea, you can just drop it in there. If you wanna take a picture of something and upload it in here, um, that's what's super cool is that if you put a YouTube video in here, if you put pictures, they show up right within the cards. So play with Trello, get your Trello board set up, and when you have, have it set up, I want you to just put in the comments below that your Trello board is all set up. You can do it, kick some butt.